All right, so today's lesson is going to be on Boolean algebra and De Morgan's law. And they, De Morgan's law actually comes from number set theory, but it's going to give us a framework and a tool to use within Boolean algebra to make our lives a little bit easier when analyzing these complex Boolean logic problems. Let's take a look at this. So we're going to talk about uh, Boolean algebra and De Morgan's law. So let's talk about De Morgan's law first. De Morgan's law comes from uh, number set theory. And you may have actually seen this already. And a way to visually represent De Morgan's law is with diagrams and with Venn diagrams in particular. So let's say we have a set A and set B. Set A and we'll say uh, blue is set B. Anything that is inside here would be considered A and B. So this yellow section here is A and B. Okay, that should make sense. And anything on either side, this is going to be a or B. Let's use a different color. Let's use, uh, we haven't used red here. So this is going to be red. So red would represent A or B. And I'll go ahead and write that uh, over here. So this is A or B is our red. So yellow is this and red is that. Make that a little bit more clear. So it's either in one or the other, or it's within both. And then you have these separate sets itself. And we would use union, when we're talking about sets, we'd use union and join. Uh, but this is a visual way to think about the knots and ors and uh, trues and falses. Kind of, sort of, right? It works a little bit. But this gives us a visual framework to think about how De Morgan's law works. We can see that anything that is not in A or B is going to be in A and B. Anything that's not in A and B is not going to not be in there. Let's jump into the algebra because this is where this analogy breaks down a little bit. So we can say here that a and B, uh, A, hold on, let me draw this right, A and B, and B, is actually equivalent to something kind of interesting here. It's going to be equivalent to not A or B, not. Hmm. How does that make sense? Well, let's actually reverse it, and let's look at this in an algebra sense. So, if I do this instead, let's start with this statement. So, let's start with not not A or not B. If instead of trying to think of through this logically, I in fact apply, apply the rules of elementary algebra, I can actually come up with this really simply. And we think about the distributive property of parentheses. Now, one of the differences in distributive properties when we're talking about Boolean algebra is not only do we need to apply 
the distributive property to each term, we also need to dis apply the distributive property to the operator itself. So the not gets applied to all three terms inside. So when we look at this, we now get not, not a is a, not or is and, and not not b is b. So by using the distributive property, we can simply negate or get rid of a lot of the complex things that are inside of this weird looking gross statement over here and we can make it a much simpler statement. And we can do this all over the place inside of our logic. Okay, so let's do another one. And again, these A's and B's can be um, all kinds of things. Let's look at it again. Let's try another piece of Boolean algebra. So let's try not, not A, and not B. That's an and right there. Well, let's distribute it out. Distributing out our nots to the A term, our and term, and our not B term, our A term, sorry. Distributing it out in three ways, what do we get? We get A or B. So not, not A and not B is A or B. And we look back at our kind of Venn diagram thing, it sort of makes sense. Anything that is in the space that would be not A and not B and is not in either of those, is going to be in here. It's going to be in our or. So anything that's not in this space, not in this space, and not in either of them, it's going to be in the middle. Okay, so uh, one other thing we need to talk about is the opposites of greater than and less than. So this is our uh, very basic A's and B's, but that isn't the nitty gritty when we get down to actually analyzing whether or not things are true or false. Let's take a look at our greater than or equals to and less than or equals to. So if we have a number, let's say, let's create an integer x. And we want to check that our integer x is say greater than a number. So let's say x greater than three. If we consider this our A statement, so if this is A, then what is not A? What is not A? Well, that's anything where X is less than three, right? But we have to think of this in terms of the number line. If we think in terms of the number line, if we're saying three and we're checking on A, if this is A over here, anything greater than three, well, then if we say this, if we said X less than three, what are we really checking? We're really checking if X is two or smaller. Let me do that in uh, green here, right? So we're really checking two here, right? Because X has to be two. So we've got a gap here where three is not actually checked. We're actually checking greater than three. So what do we do to get the opposite of this? We need to add our equal sign. So this needs to be less than, oh, it's going to grab the whole symbol, needs to be less than or equals to. So the opposite of greater than is less than or equals to. And same thing the other way around. So if I say x 
I want to say x is less than, uh, let's say, 4, this we'll call this our b, then I need to check for my not b in order for us to cover the entire number line, we are going to need to have x greater than or equal to 4 in order to get that. So whenever we're doing this distributive property up here, we need to keep in mind if we're doing a not of a, then we need to add our equal sign when we're going over here to our uh, regular a, or we're grabbing not a and it has an equal sign, we need to take out that equal sign when we flip the greater than or equals to. So with all of these pieces now, you should have the tools in order to do basic Boolean algebra and solve the AP questions and do some really cool, fun things with your programs in Java. All right, that's everything for this assignment. I'll see you guys in the next one.